Hello Pilots working on the Blade 230S. I had a request to show how the bearings are installed in the main blade grips. So I have another video that shows how to take the blade grips off and change the spindle. And you can click right here and watch that video show you how to pull the grips off so we can get to this point right here. The grip has been removed and the bearings are still inside of it. So reach in here and we pull out. I'm trying to do this one at a time so you can see what, what we have. Here's the first washer. Alright, we'll put it here. And then we have a bearing. And you can see they're open on one side, closed on the other side. The uh, open side goes facing in the blade grip like this. Okay, the closed side is facing the outside of the blade grip. So that's our second port. And then we have our next port is uh, the inner race for this bearing here. So we have the uh, outer race, the bearing, inner race, and the inside diameter of this outer race is smaller than the inner race. Okay, you see the inside diameter there. So smaller diameter, inside diameter, goes to the outside. Next we have a spacer, if I can get it out, a thin washer This is a very thin washer. And next we have a bearing. And this bearing, it doesn't matter which way the bearing goes in the blade grip and then we have a spacer this is a gold brass colored spacer you see that okay it goes there And so there's nothing else inside the blade grip except for this inner bearing. And there's the inner bearing. And it doesn't matter which way it goes as well. So this is um, the order. You got bearing goes in inside of the blade grip. 
Then we got this spacer that goes in. Then a bearing, flat washer, inner race with a larger inside hole diameter. Uh, the bearing and the outer race. So we'll put this back together. We'll put the bearing in. And we put our spacer, first spacer that goes between the two bearings. And then we put our bearing in here. And we want to push that in flush. We take a little pressure to push that in and seat that bearing in there flush. Okay, and then this thin washer goes next. And then our inner race, you can see it's flat on one side. The flat side goes first and the other side has a groove for the bearing to fit and remember this is inner race has a larger inside diameter hole so we put that in make sure you got the groove for the bearing facing out yeah, you probably can't see that And then our thrust bearing with the open side facing in. Supposedly you can put a little grease in this when you put it back together. And the uh, spinning uh, with the open end facing in keeps the grease from going out. So, all right, this side goes in first. Sorry about that. Close side faces out. And then last is the outside race which has the smaller diameter inside hole. And of course the uh, groove side goes in first to match up with the bearing and the flat side faces out. So that's it. That's how the bearings are lined up and installed in the blade grip. And then you would just follow the uh, process to reinstall the spindle, uh, which again I have the video uh, click over here and you can watch a video to finish putting it back together. So uh, that's the bearing arrangement in the Blade 230S main blade grips. Thanks for watching.